guys, I thought I should uh, make another unboxing video of uh, a couple of quads I got from uh, Banggood and I uh, thought I should just uh, mix it up and uh, try a different angle on these uh, unboxings just to make it quick. So one of them is uh, this one which is the e Sheen E60 which is an all-in-one uh, remote everything in one box looks like that is a micro drum and apparently it has a camera as well so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, what kind of uh, specs this one has let's uh, have a quick look The drum is just tiny, really, really tiny. And as you can see, it has a camera here. I know it's focusing. This is really, really tiny. And with the camera, that's pretty cool. So we have the sticks here on the side. You just pull them out from the control, put them in. You have like a controller and you charge the drone by pushing up this uh, little lever here, I guess. And there's batteries in the back and there's different uh, controls for on off. These are the trims on this side, these are the trims on the right side and the function keys here. Uh, photo, video and power on off. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this uh, works. Oh, well, that's the Yushin E60. Let's put it back in this uh, container here. <coughs> there we go. Sticks off. Sticks off like this. There we go. That's the E60. Now it's the Yushin. 53 foldable foldable drone which also has a camera I'm told uh, HD camera it says HD camera Wi-Fi FPV headless mode altitude hold uh, dual mode high low speed 2.4 gigahertz RC it can do flips and it can do auto return it says and this is controlled through an app on your phone as the other Ishi drone that I reviewed earlier so uh, let's uh, have a look in the box here Fancy boxes on these roses for sure. We have manuals. This is a quick guide on how to fold the arms. Important notes, correction function. Yep. Some ching ching chinglish here. Then we have the manual. Which is a nice little booklet with all the functions. It's in English. So that's good. So let's have a look here. Parts. Drone itself. It's quite compact. And it has foldable arms. We this kind of locking uh, things. And we can get it unfolded. To extend the uh, paper, uh, the extend the clips here outward towards the arm first before you can lower the arms and then you just snap it in place. 
saw. One, two, three, four. And then it has pop cards here. Camera in the front, which you can angle, which is quite cool. Nice feature. And there's the battery in the bottom. I guess it's a uh, 1S uh, battery that can be charged with the USB charger that comes uh, with the kit. There's also some spare props and tools, screwdriver. So that's it for the E52 unboxing or correction E53 and the E60. And, uh, Next segment will be when we try these out. Okay, so we did the uh, quick unboxing here. Uh, let's have a look at um, how we connect these things to the app and uh, how we get it started. So first of all, uh, we have a look at the uh, E53 from Eachin. Battery cover comes off, you just slide it down. You have your battery down here. Mine is already connected and you can charge this battery with the included uh, USB charger or you can use uh, this charger here uh, which I have a video on my channel, a review on, which is a very nice 1S charger. So this is what I use to charge my 1S batteries. You can charge multiple batteries at the same time, which is nice. So what do you do to connect this um, uh, drone to your uh, phone? Which this is a Wi-Fi operator. You can also use a remote control, I guess, but uh, my particular one did not come with a control. So I have to use the uh, app and that works perfectly fine. Of course, the range is a little bit limited, but uh, you're not gonna fly these a far distance away from you anyways. Um, so what you do is there's an on button here in the back. Just press that, it will start blinking. And now you go into your phone on your Wi Fi settings, and your, the drone Wi Fi should appear as iDrone and then some numbers. Just click it to connect, and it's connected. Then you go to the uh, app itself which is an app you have to download. You just search for iDrone and uh, it should uh, have look like an icon like this right here. Just click it and the app will open. Then you will see some commercial videos and stuff like that. Just click the FPV connection. to the end, FPV connection, then the app will open like this, just press play, there you have it, now you have a live view and a Wi-Fi connection to your drone. There are several function buttons here on the top, um, mostly and basically they are you know, take a picture, start video, uh, your sense, sense, control sensitivity, um, and you have your controls here on your uh, on your phone. They work uh, pretty good. Uh, it has uh, headingless mode and some other stuff. There's also some settings for VR, and you can also do a track setting. You can set points in space and the drone will follow it in space but I uh, really don't see any use for it. So here's the control and then you have the trims here on the side. If you just want, if it's drifting a little bit, you can use the trims here on the side, trim it and the controls works pretty good. So that's how you connect your uh, EA53 to your phone. It works follow C every time. I'm uh, quite impressed actually. And um, the flying wise is a uh, very nice set. It's a very stable drone. The flight time is about five, four to five minutes. 
and the uh, the lag on the camera is not too bad and the camera quality is is okay as well and uh, so that's the e53 let's have a look at the uh, other one now let me just uh, disconnect this one there we go turn this off Now this is of course a much simpler drone. Uh, some functions on this one is that it has a, uh, a camera here for uh, pictures and video as well. And there's a micro SD slot here. So there's no Wi-Fi connection on this one, of course, but uh, it's just a small uh, fun drone and you can fly it around and you can take pictures and video using this button up here. And you can fly it around uh, like a normal drone here with trims and everything. So uh, this one is uh, quite easy. You just turn on the remote. Then you turn on the drone itself. Switch back, back here. It starts blinking. You put it down on a level surface. Throttle all the way up. And throttle all the way down. And then it should be ready. That's really all there is to it for this one. Um, also flies pretty good. And uh, for a photo and a video, you just uh, photo, you just press it. it. Takes a photo. If you want to take a video, you just hold it. And you can hear it taking video. Now it's taking video. And you just stop it again. One beep is photo, and the continuous beeping is video. Of course, I don't have an uh, SD card in mine not right now, so I don't, I'm not recording anything. So, uh, two ways to charge this: you can charge it with the built-in charger here in the box. You can see like a spike comes out and goes into the uh, charger port, charger port on the drone here, or you can use the USB charger, uh, which the drone comes comes with. Right, this one right here. So now we've seen how we connect and how we start them up. Let's uh, go outside and fly around a little. All right, so uh, I have my drones here and I'm gonna set up here for just a quick uh, photo shoot of uh, some flying. They, these are very stable usually, but I recommend flying in the no wind conditions because there's no GPS on these so they will fly away if you are not careful with the wind so please fly with caution so let's have a look how they fly all right so let's start out with these uh, little mini drones first we'll see how it goes okay See if I get it in shot here. Turning around. It's a little bit of wind here, but as you can see, it's very stable. And yeah, no problem controlling it. That works great. See if we can try a flip. Just gonna land it. So we can uh, get a flip out of it. Let's see. If we can get it on camera. Not too easy. Try one more. Mm. Okay. Yep, that's the clips. Just one right here. 
Alright. So to do a flip, you just uh, press this button here and it starts beeping and then you just just a matter of moving the control and it will do a flip. Okay, so that's that easy. So that's a little drone, let's try the other one now. So as before, turn the drone on, go to my Wi-Fi to connect, connect with the drone, and if you can see it, turn on the lights on the phone here a little bit more, Oops, a little bit. So iDrone is connected, and go to my app, iDrone app. Press play. There you have it. So I have a few functions here now. You can see if you can see it, it focuses on here. So we can focus. Try a little bit. There we go. So first thing we do is go to the controls. And I'll go and take off. So it's, it's drifting a little bit in the wind. So we have to control it. Back here. This is a problem if it's flowing a little bit too much. Then the uh, controls are not enough to keep it in place. That's why you got to be careful flying in the wind, okay? So like I said earlier, you have controls for taking a picture, starting video, stopping video, control, how much control I have. Let's go to up to 100%. It's much more responsive now. And there's some other function here as well. Reverse is just for reversing the um, reversing the image on the screen. So if you happen to crash, you just put push the stop button, and that will make it uh, stop instantly. And if you want to land, you just press the land button, like so, and it's landed. So that's all there is to it. It works, it flies, it's very stable. It has prop guards, which is nice for indoor flying and stuff like that. And it has some uh, okay functions here on the screen as well. So that's it for uh, flight testing. It works and I'm quite happy with it. And uh, for the price, I think uh, it's quite a good value. Uh, if you want to try it on drones, don't expect uh, stellar performance for there's no GPS or anything like that, it's just for uh, taking pictures uh, on calm days and uh, flying a little bit inside. So all in all, a uh, thumbs up for these drones. As always, uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe and press the like button. Until next time, fly safe.